Good morning. Welcome to Pathagonia. Happy Thursday. Today we're going to talk about pilar cysts. So these generally grow on the scalp and they have a very thick keratin, very compact. And as you look in the outer layer, there's going to be a lack of a granular cell layer. And that's because this cyst arises from the isthmus of the hair follicle and the isthmus does not have a granular layer so what do i mean by isthmus so i always got confused with the hair follicle anatomy um, i'm sorry that they don't have the uh, the labeling that i would like to have here but from the epidermis to the opening of the sebaceous gland this is called the infundibulum this is the upper part of the hair follicle and then the middle part is from the opening of the sebaceous gland to the bulge where the erector pili muscles insert. This is called the isthmus. So this is where pilar cysts are, um, arise from. And it's also called, that's why it's also called an isthmus catagen cyst. This is the bulb and above the bulb, but below the bulge is the superbulbar region. So this is the lower region, collectively known as the lower region. You have the middle region, and then you have the upper region. Infidibulum, isthmus, superbulbar, and then bulbar. So um, if you see a well-circumscribed cyst of the scalp, it has very compact keratin. It has an epithelium without a granular layer. Your top, you want to think about a pilar cyst. All right, well, thanks for watching.